what we're used to hearing. Yeah, Robin Hood's a woman. Robin yeah. Hood's a woman. Yeah. Aye. That's sort of breaking news around here. Robin Hood's a woman. Is this this is part of the myth in in Scotland? No, it's a reality. Mm. That is incredible. It's a reality because the the myth is woven into the Tudor history of England, and the Tudors are or originally Welsh from Scotland, so they're reading and writing Ireland history. So if actually if you watch Braveheart mm-hmm. or you you read about William Wallace, you'll see all the names of Robin Hood there. You know, John mm-hmm. Little, Little John. Yes. They're all, they're all in there. But there's two characters called Robin Hood, and one's a general who comes from Loch Sloy, mm-hmm. which is Loxley in English. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the other was a female. And Fascinating. You know, and it, yeah. It oh, that's going to be a great book. I can't wait. Yeah, we've already talked to um, my UK publisher about it, and they're very interested in it, so I'm looking forward to writing that. That's going to be great. Sharis, you brought bagpipes with you. Now, I understand we can't play in here because you explained Aye. to me, but I thought you might reach for them, hold them, and, and tell us a little about why they are so special. I mean, the, the sound of bagpipes, there's nothing. It's hard no to explain. Well, that's, 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 these are like the two drone pipes. These are the kind of original pipes, wow. and the, the, this drone would carry your coat of arms. Well, that's the coat of arms of the Wallace. The plan, Going yeah. back about 1,200 years, that's the symbol of the Wallace. So this is sacred, really, to you? Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi, <laughs> it really is, you know. And the, the I mean, uh, the, the pipes, is a, you either respond to them or you don't. Mm-hmm. In, a, in a martial situation or, um, you know, when you're maybe burying somebody, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's highly emotive situations. And if they work for you, you really understand the, the, the harmonies and tunes and notes are also part of your feelings and they link everybody. So as a fighting weapon, in a sense, mm-hmm. they inspire men and women to go beyond and do what they're capable of, not what the brain says should stop. That's why, you know, in mm-hmm. fighting situations, mm-hmm. I wrote a tune called Sergeant McKenzie and uh, Mel Gibson picked that up for a, a film and now it was played at Ground Zero and the, the US forces now play it quite regularly as a memorial tune. You know, and what I did was I pictured this man who gave his life to try and save his own men, and a piper would have played what I played. Mm-hmm. So to watch a man trying to save his men, it was first world war situation. The piper would have played to let that mo- man know that his clan was still with him, even though they couldn't reach him physically. So he would maintain what he could to save the lives of the young people. You mm-hmm. know, and just because the pipes kick in, it's something that connects you. Right? You just don't get it at all, one of the two. Mm-hmm. You're either a, you either understand it or you're on the receiving end of it. Mm, that, that was, I, love, I love that I had known that. I, I'm glad you uh, shared that. Now we have some more mundane Scottish business to take care of in the, the remaining minutes. We have the Loch Ness Monster, Nessie. Mm-hmm. How real is Nessie? Well, very real. Good. I wanted to think that Nessie was real. Oh, aye. The fairies, though. It's the fairy folk. The fairy folk? Aye. Okay, oh, good. They've, they've been quite... Have you seen Nessie? Brisk. No. No? No. PC, have you seen Nessie? Constantly. Constantly, yeah. I've, <laughs> I, I've seen Nessie in Tulsa, but that's just me, folks. I mean, I've seen Nessie in Tulsa. <laughs> First, we've, got 30, we've got 30 seconds left. Sharas, what was your first impression of Oklahoma? You had never been here before. No mountains. The, no mountains. No, no mountains. skyline. Lovely people. Lovely people. That I, we're love tall and I love where our dash days. Okay. Broken arrow outside... He loves my dad's place in Broken, Broken Arrow. Oh, I bet yeah. so. Mm-hmm. I bet aye, so. Aye, aye. Well, welcome here. And it, it's Thank been you. great to talk to, to both of you today. Congratulations, you, PC, and all that's happening to you. And watch Braveheart again and, and understand all these wonderful things that Charles has shared with us today. And thank all of you for joining us on Writing Out Loud. <laughs>